that's a pile of uh, bloody lies, nothing new. Uh, that's a clear desire to twist the situation and the reality. And as uh, my president said, on, on several occasions, we are for the full uh, independent investigation. We are not living in the 18th, 19th, 20th century. We are living in the 21st century where we have uh, multiple high-tech uh, means uh, to verify the facts, including the satellite, forensics, uh, and all other things. Ambassador, President Zelensky failed the UN Security Council for preventing uh, the war in Ukraine, but elsewhere, and he has given some examples, Syria, Afghanistan, and he called for a fair representation. Can the UN start, or can they start questioning the role of Russia, and how can they do it? Well, the role of Russia is unquestionable. It's a disastrous. I mean, that's a clear and a very effective immobilizer of, uh, on the way of fulfillment by the Security Council of the mandate. So there is a need, and I think that uh, one of the outcomes of this tragedy, of this war, should be a real and serious revision of the way the Security Council functions. And if uh, the entire international community, it's not only about Ukraine, it's about the entire international community, if the entire international community can trust the Security Council as it is today with the security, you know, so there will be no switching to business as usual. Or if there is a switching to the business as usual, then, as my president said, this organization should dissolve itself. Where does yeah, but it the, the, um, the Russian ambassadors just told me that, that the video that was just played, that, that is all fake as well. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> of course it's fake. Of course, in the Russian mind it is. But as I said, I, can't, I, I bring you back to my reply to the first question. But how do you counter this, the, the constant... I will not dignify the bunch and the torrent of lies. It is not my job to investigate and to verify. Ukraine is open to international investigation, all right? There are, there are, there are already satellite imagery. Satellites can read your text messages to your family on your smartphone. You know, so satellites are able to do everything. What okay. should be the next step of the UN ambassador? Was that? What should be the next step? The next the step UN? will be the consideration of suspension of the Human Rights Council membership of the Russian Federation, which is an appalling tumor on the Human Rights Council using the language of uh, Comrade Nibenza. It's not the alternative security. I, I, I'm not sure that you're quoting quote improper. We can properly we can refer to the actual text, uh, but the current security architecture, as it stands, is not capable to guarantee and provide security. That's a matter of fact, and you cannot deny it. So we must revisit the architecture and we have to be responsible in setting up something that provides security to a Caribbean nation, to an African nation, to a Latin American nation, to a European nation, which happens, unfortunately, so far to be a neighbor to, to the Russian Federation. Is this All right? you're going to bring forward in the coming days with your colleagues? No, it's a very comprehensive uh, subject that should be discussed thoroughly, but the discussion should not be a repetition of a marathon uh, a September marathon in the General Assembly. It should be a very thorough discussion after the war. As for the GA vote, do you have a date on that? And no, we don't have a date. We are working with the office of the PGA. We are working with the Secretary of the General Assembly as well. We are in the process of consultations with uh, many countries. We will not do it uh, single-handedly. We're not doing on our own, it on our own or with a mil minimum amount, number of countries. That will be a cross-regional action. Do All right. Russia from the Human Rights Council ambassador. I really want to see the names of countries who believe that atrocities of the kind that the Russia and its armed forces committing are compatible with the membership in the Human Rights Council. Really, I want to see that list of the countries. And I'm sure your constituents, your readers, 
the governments really want to see the least of these countries. Thank you.